guys, today is the second video in the So Craftastic Christmas series of 2015. Woo! And that is such a long name because nothing is going right with the name search. So Craftmas. Craftmas? I don't even know if other crafters are using that, so I don't know if we can use that. DIYmas? Do I miss? I'm pretty excited for Christmas right now. Before Thanksgiving, I was shopping at Michael's and I heard Christmas music and I was in the bah humbug mood. I'm like, we have not had our Thanksgiving here in the US. I just do not want to hear this right now. I just wasn't in the spirit, but now I am. And I have my Christmas tree up. It's a little mini one. Leo, my kitty, is already destroying it. He's eating ornaments, not eating them, but he's batting them all around and he's biting the tree. That is why I did not get a really fancy one that I really want from Lowe's that is pretty much it's six hundred dollars so maybe it will be on sale after Christmas and I'll get it for next year anyway coming to your screens today are some ornaments that I'm going to show you how to make such as this felt wreath ornament it's so tiny these gift boxes made from wooden blocks and then I used a really cool technique to do this glass bulb and make it look all swirly. I found the idea for this technique on Pinterest and I'll be sure to link the blog where I got the uh, idea below because I've never seen anything like this before. It's so cool. Basically like window clings out of puffy paint but you put them on an ornament. This one does not have the traditional Christmas colors. That was me trying to do quotes with something in my hand. But you could definitely do red and green and silver and gold. Or I think that this would make a really cool galaxy ornament if you added black and sparkles to the mix as well. Random stuff before the video, I actually made the ornament wreath behind me in a previous video a few years ago. My link to the Christmas playlist that I have will be in the description box. I got the bottle brush tree from Target last Christmas. Hedgehog is from Pier 1. And if you didn't see my snow globe Christmas card video, the shaker cards, go ahead and check that out. All those links will be below. Please like and subscribe if you want to see my videos show up in your feed every single week. Now let's get into the ornament video. Woo! For the first ornament, I'm painting a wooden block with acrylic paint. You'll need at least two coats depending on how opaque the color is. Brush that on all six sides, leaving just a tiny blank spot at the top in case you choose to glue on a bow later. Once those have completely dried, I'm using Tulip Dimensional Fabric Paint, aka Puffy Paint, to add ribbon on the top and to the four sides. The paper you see here is just a guide to help me find the exact middle so I don't have to measure, and I'm then marking that with paint, of course. You can freehand the ribbons, but it is a lot easier to use painter's tape like this so the lines will be more crisp. Be sure to peel off the paint right away because if you let the puffy paint dry before peeling it off, it gets kind of stretchy so you might end up ripping off part of the stripe that you don't want to. And once it does dry, the puffy paint you can see adds texture to the look, which is pretty cool. I decided to drill a little hole at the top of each present, and by me, I actually mean my boyfriend did it, but use an eye screw to attach the bow instead of the glue if you do it this way. You could also attach an actual ribbon to hang the ornament, but I think it looks really cute sitting on the branches like this. Next up is a mini felt wreath. I created a donut shaped template that I'm tracing onto the felt with a chalk pastel. I did two of those and cut them out. Then, to make it look more wreathy, fold the piece in half and cut tiny curves, kind of like a cloud or flower petals, along the inner circle. Mm -hmm. 
match that to the other piece and put the chalk sides facing each other. Cut it so the shapes are the same. Move on to cutting the outside of the wreath. Bobby pin the two pieces together and start sewing all around with a needle and thread basic straight stitch. Just go ahead and leave a gap on top so you can sew a loop of ribbon to the felt like this. And as you sew the inner circle, you're going to add a little bit of stuffing at a time. It's polyfill and this is just going to give the wreath some dimension. If you don't have polyfill, you could use cotton balls or whatever else. Add a bow if you wish. You can make it out of felt, but I just hot glued this one that I got from Big Lots. And finally, you can create some berries. I used red puffy paint to do this. And when the paint dries, it is ready to hang on the tree. Third, we have the fun window cling ornament. I'm using fuchsia pink and turquoise blue puffy paint. Colors are totally optional and customizable to whatever season holiday. And I am going to just swirl that together on a glossy plate with the end of a paintbrush. The more paint you use, the easier they should be to peel off later, so try not to make the edges as thin as I did here. But you're going to want a ton of these swirly blobs, so keep doing the same thing until your plate is full and then maybe get another plate and do more. I went ahead and let mine dry overnight and then carefully peeled them off one at a time. This part definitely gets a bit tedious and the thin edges, like I said, tend to stick and rip away, but I did manage to peel almost all of them off without ruining them too badly. I also did try using wax paper and it peels off a lot easier that way, but then you don't have any of the cling effect on it. There's paper stuck to the back, so that's not really a good alternative unless you choose to Mod Podge them on. So it's up to you. But they do stick really great to the glass bulbs and I covered as much as I could and used a slight overlap so no holes would show. There's probably around 35-ish swirls on my bulb, but that wasn't quite enough to finish the entire thing. So I suggest doing about 50 to be safe. There you have it, three ornament ideas for the Christmas holiday season. If you make your own, please use hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram, Twitter, or Crafty Amino to show me. I think I'm just happier when my hair is curled. I hope you enjoyed the video. I just like it. I like it like this. Let me know in the comment section below which ornament from this video is your favorite. Next week I'm doing a duct tape Christmas project, so get excited for that. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Check out all my links in the description box below. Tweet me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, do whatever you want or don't want. I don't really know, but have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Hello, it's me. Is oh my gosh, I have an itch. Such an itch. Galaxy. <laughs> that was over dramatic, like always. La, 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 la. I wanted to see the bow, but then my face isn't in the frame. Puppy, 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 puppy paint. Ooh. DI, do it yourself, miss. That's it.